you know? Hit that third, boom. Scrub, and then rail the outside again. You wanna keep up all that corner speed. A little scrub -rooski. What up, in this John your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, before you adjust your phone brightness or change your monitor settings, yes, I am black room playing a dirt bike game. We are here at San Diego round three. We're about like actually 15 minutes before like you know the actual real show goes on on Peacock. I was able to join up with my boys uh, from Blazed MX and uh, yeah, shout out to them, dude. W guys, shout out to Dylan and all them. Shout out to the Jit Gaz. Yeah, we're gonna get active. We don't have no rain going on, and I just really wanted to talk about that. I think personally, I'm kind of glad that we didn't race this track. Only because 250s are, it just looks miserable out there. And almost every person that I heard that this track was really good and they sh shown hot laps was all on four, oh man, was all on 450s. Like everybody that said that this track was super W and all that was all on 450s and they were running in the rain. Dude, it's so hard to get around this track while it's raining on a 250. Like if you guys are on a, if you guys are like the top pros, I get it. Then you can like literally conquer anything. But man, I felt like it would have just been a crap show. Like people and amateurs would have been complaining even more, talking about, well, I didn't make it this time because, you know, I couldn't even get around the track being on a 250 and it was raining, you know? And I just feel like this track right now in its state to where it's just slippery, kind of a little bit of less traction, but like no rain, would have been the perfect way for us as amateurs to actually ride this track. Only because like 250s, bro, it's hard. Like I'm not even gonna lie, like that, that rain doesn't allow you to get anything. You have to be super efficient and be able to like hit everything like right on the dot in order for you to do anything on this track and I just felt like that was like a punch in the face of the 250s for when it started to rain because like for the supercross triple that's a stretch dude like especially if you have no traction you literally have to double it every time and I get like we were trying to replicate the mudder and I get like there's gonna be people in the comment section or people even opinion um, saying like well that's the whole reason why he made it so it could be mud and like 250s aren't gonna really hit that and like I get it I get it 100% you know what I mean but then again, it wasn't really even a real mud. All you do is just put some wet shine and put some spit on it. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't, it wasn't really what it needed to be. You know, if it was really going to be a mud, then it needed to be a little bit more e road. All this jazz. I just, I just, you know, personally think you just put like some some colorful shiny textures and called it a day. You know? And I'm not mad. Like I'm not saying like it's a super bad track, but I just said. I just hate when tracks are so catered to 450s and not 250s. But then again, you know, the main attraction is 450s. That's what everybody wants to see ride. And that's what everybody's trying to make it to. So, like, here, here, here's a pro and a con. And I feel like I'm con not necessarily complaining, but then also complaining, being like, you know what? Like, I just felt like we, if we were going to qualify and all that, you would have had more people in this community saying, why is the rain on? You know what I'm saying? To where it's like, we can't even qualify. Because I'm not even a lie, dude. Especially when I turned on the rain and thought that we had to literally sit here and qualify with the rain on. That's huge, dude. I was like, bro, there's just no way. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's literally no way that we're going to get in this track. And I couldn't be, I could not be consistent for like one lap, like without trying to hit something. And if I was perfect, I'd literally mess up at the Supercross Triple, not being able to hit the Supercross Triple. You know what I'm saying? And right now, since the rain's not on, I'm not saying like I'm the, I'm the best one out here or the fastest guy or most consistent. But now that the rain's like off, dude, you're able to hit these whoop, whoops. You're able to hit the Supercross Triple. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section if I'm tripping and you guys are on on 250s and were able to hit everything completely fine. But I personally would say, man, it was just, it, it's hard, dude. Like, so shout out to Blaze not putting on the rain and we're actually getting a good race. But I felt like this like kind of wet texture would have been fine and maybe just the ruts even more hard instead of the rain actually popping down on us. Maybe a simulated rain instead of actually making the rain texture because it you literally put like the the slippery texture but then also put rain on it there's literally no texture or grip i mean no no grip <laughs> for 250s to, to gain to ride anything man so i don't know that's my two cents um hate me love me but let me know down in the comment section other than that i shouldn't say the track layout is bad i did hear that they will be releasing making a new track and releasing it for free don't quote me on that but i did hear that so that's going to be a w and we're not going to be redoing this round to round six or until after round six so that should be fun as well. That way everybody has to kind of re not shouldn't I shouldn't say relearn the track, but now no one's gonna have any excuse that it's slippery and all that. So should be a fun time. Should be cool. And I know this this side right here, you wanna go on that left side to hit the triple out. That's just kind of where it's gonna be if you're gonna hit the table on. You can see that's a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, a little bit rutted up. So But all in all, 
I love the track. I love riding it. Um, I think the only thing is just when the rain's on, I personally am just not a fan, and I feel like if I'm running these in my daddies, I will not turn the fan, the rain on. You can hate me, love me, unless we're gonna do something fun to where it's like, let's turn the rain on, but let's do like 15 times E-Road. Then like, all right, bet, bet, let's do it. But if we're doing regular, let's do round one, two, and three in a row, I'm not turning the rain on, man. It's just, and especially on a 250, you're not gonna be able to clear anything, so. I don't know, and I feel like there's a different line, but I've been really enjoying this line. Like, hitting that, then triple, double, and then rail this outside. What's he about to do? Okay. That was unfortunate events. He took that. He took that. He took that, like, so slow, you know? Like, you're on a 450. I thought he was really about to rail that. And I guess that's, like, coming to, like, being able to do corner speed, you know? Like, that guy had no corner speed into that. Shout out to him. Like, I'm not even mad. But it's just, like, working you guys' corner speed. That, that goes to show, if you're on a 450 and you don't know how to do corner speed... It's possibly because you're not really doing enough 250 to actually rail for these outsides. You know what I'm saying? Like, 250 is going to teach you how to literally sit here, boom, rail all this and keep going, keeping your speed. 450, like, I just see people cutting down and, like, relying on the bike instead of relying on their on their settings and relying on them. And that kind of goes to show, like, you shouldn't be on that 450 at the time. It's just creating a bad habit and bad riding. And that's my personal opinion, dude, but... I feel like it's really fun when I know that I can rail these lines because when I actually get on a 450, I, I can actually do that as well. And I'm very surprised that I keep hitting this line and no one's hit, taking me out from it, you know? Hit that third, boom. Scrub. And then rail the outside again. I'm gonna keep up all that corner speed. A little scrub -a -rooski. I don't even know if that was scrub, but it made, it, me, it made me stay low instead of jumping out, so that was huge. Try to grab some grip. Left side triple out let's head back to the outside i probably could actually now that the, since the rain's off i probably could hit it from the inside now but i'm not i'm not shout out to jit man w guy blazing mechs man really cool dudes appreciate always coming through and hanging out with them especially when i get the time to so uh predictions for tonight since i have a second Predictions for tonight, it's got to be Aaron Plessinger's up there. I don't know. He just does really good in the rain. I felt like if it wasn't for uh, his KTM stalling out on him. Oh, no. Evasive maneuvers. I felt like if it wasn't for his KTM stalling out on him, he probably, and like, you know, how bad the mud was and for him to get stuck. I think he would have actually had a pretty good time. Um, it's just nothing he could do. That was literally just bike malfunction. Um, but yeah, that being, or maybe rider here at the end of the day i mean if it stalls out it's more than less he wasn't doing enough clutch but at the same time like look at the track so but i do have some money on aaron plessinger doing getting pretty good um i hate to say it man i've been hating on cooper i've been hating on cooper heavy and uh, i've been getting a lot of crap for it but i think cooper might have a fighting chance here he hasn't been looking too bad ken roxton's looking pretty decent but I know Jet went down in practice, so by the time you guys see this video tomorrow, we'll all know the predictions and what's goes on. But these are my predictions beforehand. But I definitely see Jet staying up there. He's definitely hungry for that plate to come back. I feel like Chasen's gonna stay hungry to get it back. I mean, keep it. So top five at least: Jet, Cooper, Ken, Roxon, Chase, mm, Wild Card. Air, yeah, Aaron Plessinger. Wild Card. Aaron Plessinger goes up there. Air, and, I mean, Jason Anderson didn't even look bad either, so we might have to give it to him too. And I overjumped. It's all right. It's all right. Ugh. But see right here, this would have been my lines for sure for the race, and I felt like these would have been fine lines. But since the rain was on, like it's so hard to hit these lines consistent because you have no grip. I'm slipping out, and I almost got to the point where it's like, bro, is it is it the husky? Like, do I need to get off the husky? And then, dude, I get in here and I kept turning off the rain. I'm like, dude, it's not me, bro. It's not the bike. It's the track, bro. It's the wetness. So, huge shout out, man. Huge shout out to Stone Rider trying. I will give him props for that for at least trying to make it like this. But man, like all that, you know, the the slicky, the slickness, and then the 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 you know the rain. Definitely just saw that like it was definitely gonna be the point to where it was like you can't get around. And then honestly, at the end of the day, like I feel like I'm complaining just because like I wanted to actually ride the track instead of like, like we all know how bad San Francisco was. Like it was like a real bad mutter. Like that was a bad mutter. You know what I'm saying? And I just felt like that's so boring to ride. And I felt like everybody would have hated it. And I heard that like he didn't want to make it too difficult to where people didn't have to just double the whole time. But it's like, if you're not super consistent and or like perfect, 
you're going to be doing that no matter what because if you go for anything you're falling and you're not going to be able to make it you're not getting enough traction so i, I just felt like there was no common ground and no matter what he couldn't please everybody which he didn't please me <laughs> he didn't please me in some aspects of 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 the textures and how shiny it is of course i have reflections on but you can't really see the ruts either so i don't know that's my own personal opinion uh, i thought i'd get this video out and just kind of give my own humble feedback i'm not mad at it it was just like it definitely was a, a stepping stone of like really cool to see that we could try to get a mutter it just i just felt like it wasn't executed and for of course mxb going down so i don't know let me know in that comment section if i'm just yapping and i'm stupid and you know I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm an amateur, but I felt like a lot of 250 people were on the same boat to where it was just like 450s had the most fun and 250s were about to be absolutely creamed. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's your boy IBS Kelso, and I do appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Pop, 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 p